Okay guys, welcome back. This is game number two from the Amiga 10 star pack, which is 10 star pack, which if I consult my magic magazine, let me just double check, we should be looking at. I'm really sorry, <laughs> actually. Um, the first one was, I mean, it was okay. It was, it was a good game, uh, Amigas, but um, number two, I'm trying to keep you guys interested. Look, bear with me. The next game after this game, um, and in fact, um, that, that's a point. I'll need to plug in a joystick. Um, it, so, so the next, the next one that I released you will be Barbarian. So that that will be awesome. Um, this week's one is um, it's it's the art of chess. Sorry. Anyway, I've still got some emotional responses to the art of chess, believe it or not. So let's get into it. So let me just shrink myself down as per the last video. And let's just work out how I unpause myself. There we go. And let's throw in the disc. So. Of course, I could I could just load these games up. But I, I like the whole journey of um, putting the disc in. So again, part of the ten star game pack. I'm not going to cover it in in detail each time. You know, go back and look at one of the previous videos if you want the history. But there was a heap of games that I got with my Batman pack over and above the normal pack, which was the ten star games pack. And this is the second one in that pack, the art of the art of chess, which, as the name suggests, funnily enough, is of course. A chess game, which is great if you're into chess. I actually like chess. Um, uh, I haven't played. I've actually got a stone chess set in my garden, actually. Um, quite, quite. Um, yeah. So I, I like chess as a game. In fact, I, I had chess lessons for a while for a lovely, lovely old man um, just around the corner from where I lived that my brother introduced me to, actually. And I used to go around there regularly every Saturday to play chess against him. Um, so chess is something that I do enjoy, um, funnily enough, you know. It's just not, when you're doing computer games re reviews, it's not the most engaging thing to jump into. I have tested this one before, I know it does work. So let's just see what's going on. Ah. Sorry about that, it, it had gone in, it somehow come out of Amiga forever. Don't know how I did that. Um, hence the Windows, you, you would have spotted that, somebody would have spotted that, hence the Windows mouse pointer. Probably alt-tabbed accidentally. Um, yeah, so chess is something I enjoy. I don't play it that much anymore because um, I've got kids of my own now. Um, they're, they're grown up as well, believe it or not. Um, and I kind of lost interest in chess when one of them started beating me. <laughs> so, yeah, don't like to lose. I always remember this this mouse pointer. How the mouse pointer changed to this little—is um, it a violin or is it a cello? I don't know. And then this little um, arrow. Not much I can say that's exciting about the game. In all honesty, right? Okay. So, how did you get into this? You. This has had a menu at the top. That's right. And I will start the game with the Amiga being black. That'll do. That makes me white in theory. <sighs> what are my memories of this game? Look, I'm just going to talk while I try and... Hey, actually, can you... I want to see if I can make... If I can change the difficulty. Oh, voice commentary. We have to turn voice commentary on because, from memory, I think isn't that the um, not Microsoft Sam because obviously it's not Microsoft. It's isn't it the Amiga voice? I think. Um, what I'm actually looking for is ah, oh, here we go. Change skill, no frills. I think it's already on the easiest one, <laughs> and I'm not going to win. I'm not going to record an entire game of chess. I'm just going to talk about my memories of this game while I um, while I um, see if I can get in with fool's mate which is all fool's mate does is it's just a way of insulting anybody that you're playing you're insulting the level of intelligence by going for fool's mate and then they'll just face palm and go what the heck are you doing uh but anyway fool's mate if you're not familiar with chess is you can you can checkmate somebody in four moves 
if they're a complete idiot and they've never come across it before. Um, anyway, so uh, my memories, I mean, me and my brother would have played this. We, we, we liked playing chess, um, but we wouldn't have played it over and above. We had some very nice chess boards, a um, couple of hand-carved ones from Africa. Um, I don't know black to play. There we go, the voice. Oh, it's so good. You don't know white to play. It's white to play. White to play. Oh, I've forgotten how to do Fool's Mate. What does that make me? Um, I know I have to get... So the, the whole Fool's Mate is basically you attack this square here um, with a combination of your bishop and your queen. It's, it's as easy as that. So let's subtly get the queen out first and hope he doesn't notice. Um, yeah, so me and my brother would have played around with this. We were both, we were both keen um, chess players. We would have probably had a tinker about with this to see how it works. In fact, I remember, I'm, I vaguely remember late at night um, on that first day having a play about. We went obviously went through the Batman pack and we went through as much of the 10 Star Games pack as we possibly could. We've been in London all day, went all the way back down to Kent, um, sort of midway between um, London and, and the South Coast. Um, and, and, you know, we were knackered, it was past our bedtimes because, you know, we had bedtimes. And all that kind of thing. Oh, what's he done? No, he stuffed me up. How? Oh, my my flawless plan um, is is ruined already. As if he he saw right through me. Um, that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. I've got it. Oh, now it's completely stuffed. Look, because <laughs> if I go, even if I was going to like basically sacrifice. Oh no, I can't do that. Because then, yeah, anyway, uh, let's say I, I got this up here. So even if I checkmate this square, for want of a better term, by having my bishop over it and my queen up here, um, he can just move his king out here. So the name, my entire thing, you can't do fools, mate. Um, against anything other than somebody that you're know, probably teaching the rules of chess to and being a right git whilst you do it. Oh, let, let's just see how this plays out. Let's just start having some fun. Um, yeah, so obviously my 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 main memories. He's obviously going to take me. Uh, my main memories of, of of playing chess on the Amiga is, of course, battle chess. And funny enough, I got in, I got um, introduced to that. Oh, he's queen's out now this is the worst game ever i'm just gonna sacrifice my queen i'm gonna go queen for queen then we're even at least there we go what can you do um, yeah i didn't expect that did you um and of course battle chess was phenomenal this is just it's simple it's it's fine it's a it's a version of chess that isn't too stupid um, to be able to beat with with um, I, in fact I don't know a version of chess that's too stupid um, to be able to beat with fool's chess uh, fool's, fool's mate sorry um, look have this have this you're in check buddy yeah I make a check I make a move black to play yeah yeah suck on it how'd you like that Now, annoyingly, can you hear that? I'm hearing the um, the drive tick, so that's a bit of an emulation issue there. I think I'm just going to double check. I haven't doubled up. Why is it asking me to select file? I'm going to cancel that. Just doing some out tabbing in the background. I don't actually know why it's doing that. But anyway, um. Yep, yeah, so, you know, I can't really drag this one out, and I'm sure you don't want me to. It's a chess game. You play it on the Amiga. Uh, and this was part of the 10 Star Games pack as well, which in all honesty was great. I mean, you know, okay, so I do have more memories to add to this because how awesome is it to, to you get your, your your new home computer and you've got a chess game, which is just one of those fundamental things. You have a computer. You've got to have a version of chess to play on that computer if you're into chess um, because it's just one of the, the great things about having a decent computer is... Um, you know, you've got somebody to play against all the time. And the great thing about playing against a computer when you're playing chess, if you're into chess, anybody that isn't into chess has switched off now and gone looking for the Barbarian video. Um, but um, a lot of the time when you're playing chess, it's a bit like playing poker. You're sort of relying 
on somebody else to make a mistake, if that makes sense. Computers don't make mistakes, they calculate. Um, and, and that's one of the, the cool things. If you're into chess, playing against any level of computer, you're playing against a player who will not make a mistake. And the only difference is the number of moves ahead that they are calculating when you when you change the skill level. Um, but they, they won't accidentally go, oh, are you kidding? I didn't even see that you could take my queen. The only way, reason you're going to be able to get the queen is because the computer has made a calculation and said, well, actually, this works out evenly for me if I you know, let you get that piece. Um, so, you know, it doesn't make those mistakes. It doesn't notice that you've you've moved something or, or you've made a bluff on one side of the board, hoping that they're going to be distracted by that and actually you're, you're planning something on the other side. All those sort of mind games that you try and play against a human opponent, it's impossible against a computer because it, it doesn't care. Um, yeah, bring on the Terminators. Um, yeah. So there we go. I think that's all I have to say on this game. Let's not drag it out. Uh, we'll move on to the next one, which is a far more exciting one. But of course, depending on how often I drip feed these you to you, oh, you might have to wait a whole month for the video, whereas I might actually record it right now. Okay. I'll try and get rid of this infernal ticking as well. No, I, I like the drive noise, but I'll try and stop it happening for the next video. Stop recording.